Hi everyone, I'm Ivan Orlandini and today I will show you how to easily make any logo or icon into a furry version. So let's get started. So first we need to create a new file. We can easily delete our default cube. Then we're gonna need to import our SVG logo or icon. To follow this tutorial, you can easily download from the link in the description the Blender logo that I'm using, but you can choose whatever logo or icon you want. So let's import our logo. So let's go to SVG. Let's now go to the material, select our Blender logo. Here we are. As you can see, some SVGs can have some issues and we're gonna fix that super easily. We can delete this square, we can delete the circle, and we're gonna also delete all the type. We're gonna just need the icon of the logo. But you can easily transform even the text into a furry version. So let's now take our Blender logo, let's rotate by 90 degrees, let's scale up to something like 25, here we are. So now we can just drag to the center our logo, something like this. So now the next thing we're gonna need is to convert our curves into mesh. So let's go down object, let's go to convert, mesh, and here we are. So now, as you can see, we have some issues with the mesh. So now we're gonna fix that. Let's first go down here and set our geometry wireframe so that we can see it in object mode. Then we're gonna need to go to the modifier, add a decimate modifier. Let's change it to planner and go to 0 0.5. And here we are. Then we can go down here and change these by adding a decimate, plana 0.5. You're gonna need to do it for every shape in your logo. In this case, two times. The next thing we're gonna need is to apply this decimate down here and down here. Then we can unselect these. Then we're gonna need to select both of these, go to the edit mode, select all by clicking A, and then we're gonna extrude it to something like this. Then we're gonna need to add a shade out of smooth, and here we are. Another thing that we can do is to add a little bevel in this case, so let's add a little bevel just to get a more soft object, something like this, nothing crazy. And here we are. You can do it for every part, but I'm gonna show it from this side, so I don't need the, the other part. Then, the next thing we're gonna need is to click on this, click Ctrl A to apply the scale, and even this apply the scale. Then, we're gonna need to add our remesh modifier. So, let's now add a smooth remesh, go to 8 or whatever it looks fine for you. It works just fine. Then we're gonna smooth shade and here we are. So let's do the same thing down here. Let's go to remesh. This time I'm gonna use something like 7. As you can see, works just perfect. And here we are. The next thing we're gonna need is to apply our remesh. One and two, and then we are ready to apply our furry. So now we can start with our particle properties. Let's now bring our new particle properties. Let's change it to air. As you can see now, we, have, we start to have something really wrong, but we're gonna fix it soon. So first, we're gonna need to change our number to something like 10,000. Then we're gonna need to change our hand length to something like 0 0.06, just to have some smaller hair. Then we're gonna need to go down to children, set to interpolate. 
then we're gonna need to change our render resolution to 70. If you have a high performance computer, you can also bump up the display amount just to see what it will look like. But if you don't have a high performance computer, I highly suggest you to work just with display amount. So next, we're gonna need to go down to roughness. Let's change our random to 0 0.34 something like this just to get some movement as you can see now then as the last part we're gonna need to change our air shape and we're gonna change our diameter root to 0 0.5 and then we're done so let's do the same thing for the other part but with different values so let's now add a new particle let's select the older particle just to get all the preference that we did before but let's duplicate it just don't work on the same hair property so now we can change our number to a thousand let's now change our random to 0 0.18 here we are and let's also decrease a little our hair length to something like 0 0.5 here we are just perfect and we're done. Now, just to see what we are doing, I'm gonna change to cycle really fast and we're gonna see what it will looks like. So let's go to OptiX, OptiX, then we're gonna need to go to cycle. We can move our light a little bit just to see what it looks like. And we're done. Now we have this perfect furry logo, super realistic, with this amazing fury on it. And you can do it on every logo or icon that you want, so it's uh, kind of limitless uh, the things that you can do with this method. So now I'm gonna show you a little render that I've done with this technique. And we're done. So I invite you to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel. We will see you to the next video. Bye bye.